This is the Balloonenstein uh, hybrid multi-copter. It uses eight propellers and eight motors, as well as uh, batteries in various positions around the frame itself to balance it out. Uh, the balloon provides the majority of the lift, whereas the motors are merely stabilizers. So these motors are just going to be able to spin to stabilize the balloon. However, if the balloon ever pops in the event of a failure, these will go up to full throttle. Then the low battery failsafe will kick in and the multicopter is able to actually land with no balloon at all for several uh, moments. So if the uh, motors ever fail or you lose a prop, it'll stay in the air. Uh, if multiple motors fail or there's another problem with the flight controller, then the balloon will actually slow the entire aircraft down so it will not kill somebody when it lands on the ground or injure anyone. So the frame on this is made out of pine wood uh, for the first prototype. You can see the pine wood here if you come a little closer. The pine wood is very lightweight and the triangle, the triangular frame gives it a lot of support. Uh, this prototype is a little wobbly, but it's enough to fly. But uh, we want to make the final version of carbon fiber, so it will be stiff and rigid, as well as being able to fold down. You'll be able to disconnect these, take the uh, motors, disconnect it, and fold the whole thing up and reassemble it, kind of like you would a Walmart tent. So we're going to start the motors on this right now. This balloon is just filled with oxygen right now since we're flying inside. We have no need for helium. I'm going to power up the motors to about 50% throttle. And you can see all the motors running. Yep. There we go. <laughs> There's some vortexes underneath. Now, what holds the balloon down on the top is a tarp that goes over the top and anchors the balloon down to the frame to stop it from flying away. These are pancake motors, so it has optimum efficiency. Should give it a flight time of about four to eight hours. We haven't tested it completely in the air yet, but will soon. That concludes our little introduction to our Balloonenstein aircraft.